Welcome to Wild Vision TV News. I'm Jamie Wyver. We start the bulletin with some very happy news about a mammal that's making a comeback across Europe. Six European bison bred in captivity in the UK are being released into the wild in Romania. Bison were driven to extinction across the continent, but there have been several successful reintroductions. These six animals were bred at Howlett's and Portland Zoo, Fosa Wildlife Park and the Highlands Wildlife Park. They'll be released in Romania in the Carpathian Mountains. On to a smaller animal now, and there's concern for woodland butterflies and moths in Berkshire. The Forestry Commission has decided to spray areas of forest to get rid of the oak processionary moth, an invasive species. But there's concern from conservation organisations such as Bug Life, who point out that aerial spraying is going to affect native species too. And of course there'll be a knock-on effect on the animals and birds that feed on those moths and butterflies. The oak processionary moth is believed to have been brought into the UK on imported oak. It destroys oak trees and can also cause a nasty rush to anyone who touches it. Chris Packham recently led a team on a filming expedition to Malta to document the illegal shooting of migratory birds on that island. Every spring and autumn Many thousands of birds need to travel across the Mediterranean between Europe and Africa and Malta is a really good stop-off point for those birds to rest and to feed. Unfortunately at those times of year the hunters are out in force and Packham and his team were able to show several cases where birds supposedly protected were being shot out of the skies. He caused quite a stir amongst the hunting community with one of the BirdLife Malta team arrested and Packham himself questioned for several hours by the police. On a more positive note, he was able to show the work of some anti-hunting campaigners and conservationists on the island who are preserving several small patches where birds can actually be safe. You can find out more about his campaign and watch the team's video diaries at chrispackham.co.uk. On happier Chris Packham stroke bird migration news, the British Trust for Ornithology have discovered that a cuckoo, named after the presenter, has been taking an unusual migration route, revealing something we didn't know about the way these birds move across the continent. Chris Packham the cuckoo has been travelling from East Anglia, southwest across the UK, down to Angola, on a migration route previously unknown to science. Information like this will help us to conserve the cuckoo, whose numbers have declined dramatically in the last few decades. Talking of cuckoos, this is my book of the week. Say Goodbye to the Cuckoo by independent journalist Michael McCarthy. I absolutely love this book. I think it's one of the most important conservation books to have come out in the last few years. In it, Michael looks at data and specific cases of bird species particularly those which come here each summer, travelling from places in Africa where they overwinter, those which have significantly declined, looking at the reasons why and why we should actually care about it. I'm going to read you a passage from the beginning of the book because I think it's particularly well written and it sums up for me something about why we don't cover these kinds of stories in everyday news. So Michael says, if we could see it as a whole, if they all arrived in a single flock, say, and they came in the day instead of at night, we would be truly amazed. 16 million birds. How other than with wonder could we view the sight of 16 million swallows, martins, swifts, warblers, wagtails, wheat ears, cuckoos, chats, nightingales, nightjars, thrushes, pipits and flycatchers, pouring into Britain from sub-Saharan Africa. They would cover the sky from horizon to horizon. It would be the greatest of all natural spectacles. Work would stop. People would gather to watch it. That night it would lead the TV news. Next morning it would dominate the papers. And the nation would celebrate, not only for the giant, scarcely credible journeys that these huge numbers of diminutive creatures have just completed, but for a reason which moves us even more. That in coming they have brought the spring. It's a dramatic opening to a book about bird conservation, but as you read it, as Michael travels around the country, you get more and more affected and drawn in by the sad stories he tells. 
Despite the slightly depressing message, this book is well worth a read if you're interested in bird conservation. It's available to buy online, in its paper version, and also for the Kindle. Thank you for watching.